Hello my friends, hello, and welcome once again to the Rustic Von Lodge, where we are going to be talking about Conan on the Robert E. Howard Show. It's the Robert E. Howard Show, once again, where we are continuing our discussion of the original Conan stories by Robert E. Howard. And today we're going to be talking about Black Colossus. Black Colossus which was originally published in Weird Tales in June of 1933. So, in this story, Conan is in the kingdom of Karoja. And he's a mercenary in this kingdom, but very soon he's going to be finding himself unexpectedly promoted. Because there are some strange goings-on in the Hyborian Age at this time. Most of them have to do with Natak, the Veiled One, also known as Thugra Kotan, Thugra Kotan, who's been asleep for 3,000 years. But the Evil One has been awakened. This evil sorcerer has. He's been awakened by this thief by accident. Oops. It doesn't go well for the thief. And so, Thugra Kotan has decided, now that I'm awake again, I'm going to take over. And I'm going to just roll over all of the Hyborian kingdoms and take over. Now, in his way, standing in his way, is the kingdom of Koroja. Koroja. And Yasmila rules this kingdom. Young Yasmila, who is the sister of the king. The king just happens to be a prisoner at this time in another kingdom. So she's running the place. But she's got this evil, supernatural, creepy wizard guy. Natak, the veiled one, who's on his way with an army. And he's got magic on his side, and he is genuinely creepy. I have to say that about the villain in this Conan story, in that he is a creepy, creepy villain in this one. And Yasmila, young Yasmila, she really doesn't know what to do. So she decides to pray to Mitra. She prays to Mitra, and sometimes... The gods in the Hyborian Age did unexpected things, like actually answer you when you talk to them. And Mitra gave her some advice. And the advice was terrible, or at least it would be normally. The advice was, go out, and the first guy you see, make him the general of your defenses. Give him the army, whoever, first guy you run into, give him the army, make him the general. She's like, uh, okay. So she does. And fortunately for her, wouldn't you know it, the first guy she runs into is Conan. Exactly the guy you want for the job. Now, this is a very important story for Conan. Because up to this point in Conan's career, he, he hasn't led more than a dozen guys at a time. He, he's, he's a smart, tough warrior. But he's never commanded anything. So, like I said, anything large at any rate. So now he suddenly has an army. Something he's, he's never had before. And this changes Conan. And you can see it in the story. He's, you know, he's a mercenary in the beginning of it. And he's just out drinking, having a good time. But suddenly he's given all of this responsibility. And this does change him. Because suddenly he has all of these soldiers' lives in his hands. 
He's got an evil wizard that he's got to battle in this evil wizard's army. And so he has to step up, which he does. Now, the other leaders in the kingdom, and they're not too thrilled without, with having to take orders from Conan, a nobody at this point. But of course, he's Conan. And now Conan is a really, really smart character. He's got a good tactical mind for combat and for war. So he is the right guy for the job. And this is a cool story because we see him take command for the first time. And we actually see this big battle and it's, it's really awesome. And the story is really, really good. Very well told story. This is Robert E. Howard at his best. This is one of the best Conan stories, probably. It's really excellent. Great sense of atmosphere. Great pacing. Wonderful villain. It, it, it's an all-around excellent story, which I, of course, highly recommend. And as I say, very important for Conan, because this kind of foreshadows his future. We know, and we knew since we started reading these, that Conan is destined to be king of Aquilonia. First story we see him in, he's already king. So we know that that's going to happen. And this is a step on that road to kingship. Very important time in Conan's life, and a very interesting Conan story. So, there you have it, The Robert E. Howard Show. I will catch you next time.